This is the second time this has done this to me. You see the whole thing just shut right off. I don't see this razor sticking around. During the video that you're about to see, I forgot to mention the specs. So this was the Razer Blade Pro 17 21 Edition Intel Core i7-10875H 8-core processor RTX 3060 70.3-inch screen QHD 165Hz It came with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabit SSD I didn't change any of that stuff. For this video, we're just gonna test some Fortnite AM. Check it out. Here we are. We're gonna do some gaming on the Razer Blade. It is plugged in. Everything's been updated and I set performance to GPU only and 165 Hertz. So right now, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting here, right? Let's take a very inaccurate measurement. I'm guessing that's just room noise, I don't know. And we're gonna take a little temperature gun here. So it says it's 92 degrees. It doesn't seem right though. All right, so we're gonna play a little Fortnite. Just kick it off. So I already hear those fans kicking on. It's already it. I have no idea how accurate that is, so. All right, well, let's set this up. We'll play a game or two, and then I'll come check back in. When I stopped the previous video, it was about 11.05. It is now 11.10, and that included me running to get the camera. <laughs> he started the game, and it just went black. This is the second time this has done this to me. I'm not playing the game, but like, just in general. You can see the whole thing just shut right off. And it wasn't a restart, like I'd make sure I'd updated everything right before I turned it on. So, I don't know. I don't see this razor sticking around. So yeah, I was setting up a video just to record the performance of the laptop. I even purchased Bandicam just for this. I used a different screen recording software to record it, and it just crashed out. So, I'm gonna give it one more shot just to see performance-wise, but uh, most likely I'm gonna return this laptop. That is twice now that this has happened to me. The first time I wasn't playing a game, I was just literally opened up a web browser and I wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting there staring at nothing. So you can see, just to double check, GeForce, the drivers are, says I have the latest game rate driver. I just installed it right before that game started. Everything looks pretty good. Performance, it went back to the video Optimus. It really, it's not that hot. It's actually, I think, cooler now than it was before. So I don't know. I'm gonna put it back to here and I'll hit restart now and we'll see what happens. All right, so. It, Sounds like a jet engine right now, but we restarted. I don't know how to use this thing. All right, so we set the full screen, 1440, 16 by nine, unlimited frame rate, brightness at 100%, color blind off, color blind strength, so everything else is set to epic, 100% 3D, view distance, epic, 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 epic. V-Sync is off, motion blur is off, show FPS is on, it's on DirectX 12. And we did this after it crashed, and then we had to restart it, so. That didn't cause a crash, I don't believe. multi the rendering is on. All right, so now we're gonna try recording the screen. We put ray tracing on, and it's getting 17 FPS now, so that's pretty great. All right, so we gotta play a game and let it go. It sounds like a jet engine's taking off in here. Heat-wise, though, and we're up to 106 Fahrenheit, 40 C words. All right, we gotta play a game. It looks brutal. This was the RTX on. It is plugged in to the power outlet, but it's not on Ethernet, it's on Wi-Fi. But I do have gigabit service, so either way, it looks horrendous. All right, so we have your RTX on. It looks like garbage. So again, we're plugged in through power. So I'm on the Ethernet, we're on Wi-Fi, but I do have Wi-Fi 6. I have an Eero Pro 6 routers, mesh wireless networks, and this has Wi-Fi 6. And I found the Wi-Fi to be particularly good on the Razer Blade. So I'm gonna assume the RTX can't handle. This is the 3060, but it in the QHD screen. So now we're gonna turn ray tracing off. You gotta restart the game again, which is stupid. So 41 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. It's crazy loud. I don't know how to work this little fan device, but this is pretty loud in here. Now it could be standard for gaming laptops. I've never had a gaming laptop before. So it says 74 now, and that was the highest, but I don't know if that's my voice. So when we were on RTX, the FPS was hitting 17, I think, and now it's around 80 something. It's showing a low of 78 and a high of 84. Now we're gonna record the screen again, play another game. that round 109 degrees and then celsius is 40 ish degrees nothing major on that game it stayed consistently in the 80s and my son cracked me when he played 
with RTX on, you got like five FPS in the game. So, but now again, still power plugged in, but on a Wi-Fi, staying about 86 FPS. So, pretty good. Not the RTX is on. Like I said, we do have the screens at 165 hertz on dedicated GPU, and it seems to be doing good. I mean, it looks good, not doing good, it looks good. My son said he didn't really notice the difference, but he was dropped on his head a lot as a baby. Have you ever dropped a baby? Because I do it all the time. So I think it is noticeable, just, you know, in general, it's not life changing necessarily, but it, I think it is noticeable to an extent. I would say it gets a thumbs up, but the first black screen incident, it's gonna get the thumbs down. It couldn't handle the RTX, of course, but it handled everything else pretty good, I'd say. Other than that whole, you know, screen going black and the device crashing. Now that wasn't great. <laughs>